I am trying to get my clothes back on here, make sure I'm warm. Joyous, running fox, I'm trying. I got thicker gloves today. And I'm trying on a new mic. So I don't have to be right up to the camera. Anyway, I'm here by this kind of a man-made stream kind of thing. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about... Uh, I'm all wired up here just trying to make this work. Anyway, I wanted to talk about... Uh, the whole idea about taking a break. I know you guys probably are wondering where I was the last couple of days. And uh, it inspired me to make, to make this video. Hopefully this isn't too loud. She's got quite the flow going on here. Uh, so I'm gonna grab my coffee. So I, uh, I have this thing as an INFJ where I will work really, really hard on something and I'll just go and go and the energy's there and it's just insane what I can do in a short period of time. Uh, like the productivity is through the roof. Like the, doesn't matter what it is, whatever I'm working on. And uh, that's great. But then all of a sudden bang, it just hits me. And it's weird because I hit this wall and the INFJ ness kicks in where I just want to throw it all, you know, throw in the towel, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so at that point, I know it's very important for me to just stop just stop, stop, stop. Don't delete. Don't take away. Relax. Get away from people. Get away from whatever it is that I'm doing. Just stop thinking about it. That's a bit of a challenge sometimes. But that's what I did. I uh, The last couple of days, you know, I pushed really hard on this, on this project. It's a lot of work at times doing different things. Uh, and... You know, this is a type. This is a type. This is a type of work. When you're making content for the world, it's like you can't do it for your own gratification. That's for sure. You don't do it to uh, go make yourself feel happy or make yourself feel better. I mean, to a degree, yes. But I mean, there's nothing like human interaction and having someone in your life that you can communicate with. Uh, and that's not why I did this anyway. But I I'm just saying, like, you are seriously going into your sort of selfless self. And you're saying, I'm just doing this out of the kindness of my heart, right? And you're, and you're just trying to make a difference in someone else's life. And I realize that it's, it's worth it for sure. So anyway, I didn't go anywhere. I'm back. Hello, I'm here. Uh, this is one of those projects that I'm really challenging myself to stay committed to, no matter, no matter what happens. So, um, yeah, I, I, when I look back through over my life, like different times where I felt the most removed from myself. Uh, you know, one of the big, big things I learned from my, my therapist was, uh, um, not being in congruence with who you think you should be versus who you are. That gap, the larger that gap is, the worse it is for you. And I've narrowed that gap. You know, I used to believe that I needed to be this certain somebody. I needed to be a certain you know, meet a certain expectation. And that kind of leads me into the next thing I want to talk about, which is, is at my darkest points in my life, it's when I was trying to achieve things that weren't necessarily good for me. And when I think back, it's like, when I was in, when I, there was a time where I was working about 45 hours a week, you know, I was around 24, 25 years old, 45 hours a week, managing a store. I had around, I don't know, 13 staff, you know, 24,000 four foot, uh, 24,000 for a uh, square foot store. It's a pretty big store. I had deliveries coming in. It was all on me. You know, there was a lot of weight there. And I was going to university, taking about two courses at, at the same time. 
Um, I had, you know, two nights a week night classes. So I'd go to work all day, you know, go night classes, you know, three hour classes or whatever. And then, then when exam time came, I had to, sometimes I had to leave work early. Uh, there was this one time I had a conference, uh, in, you know, three or four provinces over from where I'm at. And at the time my fiance sat in a class for me, it was a psychology class. And, uh, anyway, just taking notes for me, it just, it was just the hustle and bustle was crazy. And at the time I didn't think there was anything wrong with that. It was beat into my mind, right? Into my head, just like everyone else. You need to go do something. You need to go be somebody. Let's go. Let's go. You got to go. You got to go. And I thought, well, geez, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But for an INFJ, I don't think that, I think that is a recipe for disaster. I really do. Go, go, go. Achieve, achieve. Be the biggest that you can be. You know, we need to be able to relax sometimes. We need to be able to, well, we need some downtime. We need some quiet time. We need to get away from all that hustle and bustle. I'm going to get out of the way so you guys can see this. But we need to get away. And I think it's so important that we have that quiet time. And, and sure enough, like I took the last couple of days to, to regroup and here I am. I'm back. I'm, I'm rejuvenated. I'm full of energy again. My mind is coming back online. I'm starting to think clearly. I'm starting to see things clearly. So uh, that's important. So I was just checking the time there. But yeah, it's, it's so important to... That is beautiful. But yeah, it's so important to realize that you can't just go, 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 go. And when you do, as an INFJ, you will crash. You will burn. You will hit depressions. You will hit darkness that you can't explain to people. You're not going to know what happened to you. I did it. Depression in 2018, darkest time of my life, six months sitting in a room, right? I did a video on that. Like, this is no good, right? Like, you are, <laughs> like, you're responsible for you. And when you crash and burn, everyone else just kind of looks at you and says, oh, what a shame, you know? Like, that's too bad. Well, you know, as INFJs, we got to realize that we don't, we don't flow like the rest, that's neither good or bad, right? At times it's really good, at times it's really bad. But yeah, so I, I took some time out last couple of days. Here I am. And I realized that taking the time out of my life to do this is worth it. You know, some of you will just watch this and be like, whatever, I don't care after, you know, two, three minutes, four minutes. This doesn't mean anything to me. My, oh, the wind is. I don't want the wind to make the, can the mic all weird, but the wind is shaking my camera a little bit. But yeah, some people won't find any value in this. Okay, fine. Other people will. And it's those, like I said, two or three, one person that looks, watches this and says, wow, you know, and I, and I get it. Sometimes it's not even about what you say. It's about what you do, who you are, where you are, you know, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch base on you need to take some downtime and you need to pull away from the status quo. I want to add something else. I just came from getting my coffee here. And when I, you know, it's like it's around like one or two o'clock. And I realized this whole Christmas thing. And I know I, I did a video or I did a, yeah, I did a, a video before this one here saying that I wasn't into the holiday situation. And, and uh, I didn't, I didn't want that to come off as you know, something negative. But I think if you really like listen to what I'm saying, it's I'm not I, ha I don't have anything against it. And I'm certainly not against people who celebrate it. But this year, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to see if I can just be my own person, do my own thing, not follow these these regulations, you know, these sort of, you know, I don't know, it, it's just like everyone's supposed to be celebrating everyone's supposed to be, you know, in this world of Christmas and celebration. You know, those of you who do who do do celebrate it or whatever, there's an expectation there. And I thought, you know, it's it's a free it should be a free world, it should be a free country. Sometimes I wonder, but yeah, like I said, you know what? I want to do this myself. I want to go do my own thing, and I did it. And I think today we're the twenty second, so it's like I haven't missed it. 
And again, I'm not depressed. I'm not lonely or whatever. It's just, in fact, it's it's been great. In fact, I'm here in the middle of the woods here enjoying this when back in the day, I would be probably trying, I'd be sitting in a freaking mall parking lot in my car, you know, waiting for my ex to come out with some presents or whatever. You know, like, this is new for me and this is great for me and this is something I want to continue to do. There's nothing wrong with celebrating your loved ones. There's nothing wrong with being with people that you care about. I think that's great. I think that's the most important thing in this life is being with the people that you care about. But anyway, uh, the big point to this one is just uh, take time out for yourself. And if you're in a situation where you're working at a job that doesn't allow you to do that and you're like, well, I got to pay my bills. I got to I gotta be here. I got to work 60 hours a week. Well, maybe look at that a little bit differently. Look at what you can change. Sometimes you got to make some hard, tough decisions, right? Some tough financial decisions or whatever it is. You got to look after you because once you crash and burn and you become dark and you don't want to be here anymore, that is not a good place to be. And, you know, being an INFJ, go to a therapist, yes, but it's it's even at that rate, it's still hard for that person to understand you. Because when we get dark, we get dark, right? So I don't want to let this drag on or whatever, but that's that's kind of what I'm thinking today. Hopefully this did something. All right. We will see you guys in the next video.